Jeff Waters here from the northeast of England in a lovely town called Durham. And I am here to talk to you. Oh, by the way, I'm in a band called Annihilator. It's Annihilator. It's a re-release of a catalog thing, but we needed to make it special. And um, I came up with the idea to pick the record that was kind of my... The one that I thought should have had been done a little bit differently and due to time pressures, due to you just bad luck with perform some performances and the wrong time in people's lives, including myself, certain things are rushed and just lack of feel and, you know, whatever. Just the perfect kind of storm for a non-amazingly performed record. So that was the one record, Metal, in 2007 that we decided to, or I decided was... The one I would, wish I could kind of fix up, or redo, and we didn't redo it, but what I did was I called up my favorite drummer and favorite singer and asked them if they would go in there and respectfully redo the vocals and redo the drums. Jeff Waters hit me up uh, probably 2020 and uh, asked me to perform on a previously recorded album. Uh, he wanted to... Uh, replace the drums and uh, because he was a bit unhappy with with the results and I believe this album was released some time ago uh, so he asked me to perform on it and I agreed and uh, we exchanged some uh, you know wave files and and you know some music stems and and I got to work and uh, it was a lot of fun well how did I get involved in this project um, well, Jeff uh, reached out to me at the beginning of uh, 2021. He said uh, he had a, a record that he wanted um, to uh, to you know get some you know have someone to redo the vocals. And um, Jeff has always kind of expressed that he's kind of dug me as a as a vocalist and feeling is mutual. I dig him as a, as an amazing musician, and uh, he's got he's got good vocals too man um, and he's an amazing guitar player and super multi-genre um, kind of musician so he's <clears throat> he's kind of got different visions you know he kind of does what's ever best for the music right so um, so that's a really cool cool thing I've always respected about Jeff is uh, you know his just his dedication to the craft and his dedication to uh, what's best for uh, whatever vision or art he has um, in his head and he wants to put it out there so it's been, it's been super great working with him but anyway yeah he approached me and uh, of course I said yes um, to to do so to do this and uh, you know he, he kind of just was letting me know you know it's 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 more of a jammy kind of like do whatever I want to do um, we're gonna do like one two th or three takes of, of of each song and just feel it and come up with the voices that you feel like you want to you want to put on each song so um, it was super fun for me because this record has a really a huge diversity in what what I can do as a vocalist as well, um, which is really cool with what Jeff's sound is because it's so diverse. So it was really fun for me to be able to touch on a bunch of different styles of vocals um, and even doing stuff that um, I was discovering for the first time in the studio. So just messing around and having fun. <laughs> The heat of the pandemic, so to speak. Um, it was done long distance. Uh, fortunately for me, I was just in more of the producer uh, role this time. Step back and let my friend Mike Fraser, some of you might know him from uh, working with ACDC since 1990, Thunderstruck, um, Razor's Edge, and uh, he's uh, one of my favorite engineers ever. Chris Lord Algae, Randy Staub, and Mike Fraser are my favorite. So. Yes, got to work with a legend and one of my favorites. Um, and uh, we had a lot of other good people working on it, but I didn't have to play a note on this one because it was just the drums and vocals being redone and the mix. Mastering, Mayor Applebaum in Los Angeles. These guys did it raw. They did it real. Um, I think the, the marching orders, so to speak, were to Dave Lombardo was, uh, I mean, you know, Essentially, Dave is who he is. He's He's got his style, he's got his way of recording, his way of, here's my take, here's my feel. And that's uh, one of the reasons why he's my favorite drummers, ever. 
And uh, this was a tough one for me because it was balancing between uh, Mr. Jeff Waters, the producer, and the, the band guy, and here's my songs and all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, this is what we need. And, all that. and the other side was just crap my pants going, holy crap, I'm talking to Dave Lombardo. Um, and I'm going to kick into a quick other story. Uh, fast forwarding, during the recording, Dave knew that I was supposed to be a professional and supposed to be an okay guitar player and all that fun stuff. And I've kept my band going for a long time and he respected that and he's heard some stuff and seems to like uh, some of Annihilator's music. Uh, but he, um, he also could tell, I was doing my best not to let him know, but he, he could tell that I was a super fan. Um, I could, and oh, by the way, we played a show with him many years ago and he was looking at me at the side of the stage because Slayer were playing and I was at the side of the stage and I'll never forget the look. He looks over at me and he's used to everybody air drumming, especially bands go backstage and hang out at the side of the stage while they're playing. Slayer was playing and air drumming, but I think he realized that I was the best air drummer of all um, and obviously knew the song, knew his drumming. So anyway, he, he was, uh, he did something cute, which was really amazing for me. He sent me a message and said, uh, just to let you know, I used the original Rain and Blood ride symbol on this album metal 2 and I'm, I'm like what and he goes no I brought the original one out not the signature one that he has for sale but the actual real one that he used and he I think he just did that because he's a nice guy and he realized that it, it sort of it's another notch in my holy shit uh, book I was lucky enough to perform with uh, Jeff Waters and uh, hit uh, 70,000 tons of metal uh, cruise back in 2016 and I believe that's when uh, you know the interest of working with each other uh, started uh, we performed Judas Priest's uh, painkiller and uh, you know it was it was a great experience uh, and uh, I knew that for some reason or another we were gonna end up working someday and and pandemic uh, somehow uh, made it work and uh, although he's in England now, he's, uh, I think, uh, one of the very first Canadian metal bands I was, I've been able to work with. So it's been very exciting. Also on this album, I used uh, the original uh, Rain, Rain and Blood Criminally Insane Ride. And, uh, you know, that was, uh, that was, I guess, a treat for, for Jeff. He was excited to hear that. And, so, uh, you know, this, this album definitely has a lot of magical moments. So I recommend uh, anybody interested in this style of music to uh, pick it up. We had been talking for a while about doing something together, um, uh, either with Annihilator or something different or whatever, but we were talking for, for a few years actually about just doing something fun together or whatever, two Canadians, you know, uh, getting together and, uh, and uh, creating something. And I tried to, in a way, get him into Annihilator many years ago, and I wanted to get him in the band. But it just wasn't um, happening. I think uh, he got swept up pretty quick by another band we know of, and um, that was it. I'd seen him in festivals and this and that, but I think I'd over, uh, been saying in the press for a decade, decade and a half, that if I could get one singer other than Rob Halford uh, for Annihilator, it would be Stu Block. And I, in a way, I kind of did. For, for this record, so, and we you know, see what happens. Maybe he can come on stage and join us for some stuff. Maybe Dave can too. But um, Stu Block, to me, was, is one of the most hidden gems in the, the vocal business, not the metal business, vocal business, because I'm also a producer and blah, 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 and I can, I, I write songs for other artists, write pop country, all this other stuff for, for other people for decades, and um, I kind of have a little bit of an ear for some of the studio stuff and one and some talent actually not me recognizing it um, and Stu a lot of people know about Stu he's a fantastic amazing singer he can do the high Halford Dickinson he can do the low sort of spoken stuff he can do you know he's, he's got such a range and people already know he's great but I happen to know he's much greater than everybody knows about 